and hello it's what's new from always in stitches again and gosh end of may i peter can you believe it it's half the year is gone i know it's time to start christmas shopping i can't even i can't even wrap my head around that but i suppose it is so i have to introduce you to start this little video off with my newest little friend her name is peter says her name is francis francis faith flamingo you can see if you watched last week's video we talked about the funky friends factory animals i made this this was um this is from that pattern that we oogled you about and i've decided she's my support animal <laughs> and so that's why i named her faith but peter thinks her name should be francis so everybody's in love with her little legs we do not carry this fabric before somebody calls and says <laughs> Do you have this fabric? The answer is no, this was in my stash. So um, anyway, so this is Faith Francis and Francis Faith, whatever. So if you wanna make a Funky Friends, since our last video, I made this. I made the whole thing, cut it out and everything. That tells you how simple it is. So I would encourage you to make these. I would also encourage you to use cuddle fabric <laughs> because it hides all the seams, which makes this really look like a complete animal that's not like seamed together here and here and here and here. Um, and it kind of covers up your mistakes too. So um, anyway, this is my little support animal, Faith. She's gonna hang with me today. Um, and we're up in this corner of the, of the store because I wanna talk to you about some classes that we have coming. Um, we've mentioned Mary Bouvier's fabric painting class. There's one May 24th and there's one June 2nd. There's still some openings in that, but more importantly, we did get the um, ink pencils that she recommends you use in her classes. Um, and they're lovely. I, Peter, I bet you've worked with these when you were in school. I didn't. We didn't oh, have really? these. We didn't have these when I was in school. Well, you're not that old. Okay. Old enough. Old enough. So this is one of those things that when you open it, we need smell a vision. Let me smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Can you oh, smell it? Oh, smell wonderful. Isn't that smell? It's like a new box of crayons, but it's but it's drawing pencils, and um, this is what you use to 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 make all those beautiful colors. We need smell a vision. I'm just got to work touch a vision and smell a vision somehow. Um, but they're called ink tints. They're Derwent and. They're professional quality ink pencils. So um, this is what you're gonna want if you take that class because that's what she recommends. Um, so, and they'll last you a lifetime. I had a set like that and they will last forever. Last forever, ever, 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 ever. So that's a, a cool thing that you wanna have. Um, the other thing, and I don't see anything's out here about it yet, but I'm gonna tell you, there's a yarn dyeing class um, June 7th and 10th. So it's a two session class. The first session's in the evening and the second session's in the morning. And what they're going to do is take a cotton skein of yarn and do some dyeing with it, which is going to be super fun. I would suggest you sign up for that. I think it's going to fill up sooner than later. Um, Nancy and Cindy took a yarn dyeing class and uh, we sent them someplace else. I don't remember where they went. But anyway, they took the class. And when they came back, I said, oh, would you teach it? And they said they'd love to. So if you're interested in that process, it'd be a real good opportunity to learn and to make some yarn that you dye yourself, then you can knit it. How fun would that be? Very cool. Um, okay, and then another class, this isn't until July 29th, but I wanted to bring it up because I think it's a really cool program. We do a lot of charitable work programs here. One of the things that we do in our entry area is we collect always there's something going on uh, we're collecting food for the Hamilton County um, food pantry um, which is our food bank which supplies food to all the pantries in Hamilton County we always have a different item I know in June we're going to collect uh, macaroni and cheese dinners like the complete dinners don't buy the ones that you have to add milk or butter or anything to because families in need sometimes don't have the milk and butter so they need the complete kit of the macaroni and cheese dinners um, and then we also usually are collecting some kind of a personal product of some kind um, for a local charity. This time, in June, we'll be working with the Pajama Program, which is a program that provides um, pajamas to children in stress situations that are maybe in shelters or in foster care who don't have pajamas or bed sheets or things like books to read when they go to bed. Uh, one of the things they've learned is that children who live in those situations oftentimes suffer from lack of sleep 
because they don't have those comforts. So um, we'll be sponsoring those in June and um, you can participate in that program. It's always on our website so if you ever want to know what our current charitable work is you can always find it on there. Every month we pick a new program. Um, but come July and I think if it's not July then I think maybe it's in the later in the year. It may be in August but we do a program called Angel Wraps and this works with the Sayla's Grace Ministry and what they do is they provide um, like little wraps that they put on children that are born premature or, or if a mother experiences loss during pregnancy, they create a little things to give to them so that they have a memory box of those children. Okay. And that's an opportunity that you can come July 29th. So that's a little ways out, but if you want to schedule that day and be prepared for it, that way you'll know. And then another class, and I don't see her sample out here because she's been working through a book, but you can still participate is Kathy Zook, who was formerly an employee with us, and now she's a teacher extraordinaire. We love having Kathy as one of our teachers. She's teaching what's called a table toppers class. Great class. It's in a book, and I'll be sure Peter gets a picture of the book on, in here for you. You buy the book, and each month she does a different table topper out of that book. If you're thinking, gosh, I would love to learn how to sew, or I would love to learn some basic quilting skills, it's a great class because and Peter's shaking his head. Tell him why it's a great class. Uh, I think it's an awesome class. Is you can always tell how excellent a teacher is by seeing how their students progress. Yes. That is the key to knowing. It's not you know sitting in on a teacher's class, but it's really just going and looking and seeing the people who took the class, what they went on to do. Right. And the people that take her class, they go on and make these just amazing quilts. So I know the value of taking her class is excellent. It is. It is. And she's, th that, that's such a good point. She, she really grows people up, but she'll take people at any skill level. And so um, if you don't have a machine, you can use one of our machines. You can come in, you can buy the supplies listed on her class list. And then it, the class goes from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So it's a long day. But when you come out of it, you have a project or at least an almost completely finished project. And it teaches you those basic skills you need to begin quilting. So if you're like, I want to take a beginning quilting class. Well, it isn't titled beginning quilting because who wants to just come in and sew and not make anything? With this, you actually learn beginning quilting and make a project at the same time. Um, and like he said, that people really progress in that class. We've seen some amazing growth um, out of the people that um, have taken that class. So that's exciting. Okay, that's classes for now. Let's talk a little bit about our Sew Along project. Oh my gosh, Peter, hasn't it been fun to see their pictures? Oh, it has. We've seen some good ones. Oh, we have. We have. So let me go around the corner here where our pillow is displayed. And um, I showed you some pillows last week. Here, we'll put, we'll put Faith right here. I gotta get her legs to bend the right way. She, she's, well, her arms just aren't long enough. Her arms aren't long enough. She has a pterodactyl problem. There you go. Oh, well, anyway. So here's one of the things we've talked about. And this is, you know, something to think about and not to pillow shame anybody. We don't quilt shame and we don't pillow shame. So when this lays on the bed, if I've got this laying or in my car or wherever, the pattern is this way, which is kind of not the way the pattern was intended to be viewed because if I really want to look at the pattern I want it this way. So when you're cutting your fabric you might think about okay when I cut it out do I want the pattern to go this way? Do I want it to lay the right way when it's sitting on my bed? Or if it's just going in the car and the kids and that's all the piece of fabric you got it doesn't matter. But if you have enough to plan the layout of, the, of it think about that when you make your pillow. Okay? But oh my gosh so many cute. Go to our Always in Stitches Insiders page if you're not already joined us there. You need to join us and, and look at the pictures. I don't, I don't know how many we've seen posted and they're so cool. Um, it's exciting. A lot of people have called and asked that we mail those. We will do that. Um, talk to the orders department. You can email them or call them and we'll get you hooked up, man. We'll get you the pattern. In our next video next week, we're going to introduce a new project. So Already? Already. Isn't wow. that crazy? I can't tell you what it is, but I can tease you a little bit about it. It's going to be, it's going to be bigger than the pillowcase. Bigger, okay, bigger okay. than the pillowcase. Bigger than the pillowcase. I'll just say that. That's all. That's that. We'll have a new pattern next week, and on, some of you asked on our website what we're going to do is have those permanently available. So you, if you didn't get the May pattern and you're watching this video three months later, which tends to happen you'll still be able to go to our website and click on May um, su Summer Sewing Project and get the pillow pattern because a lot of people still want to get a hold of that. Um, okay, and my flamingo, I talked about her. 
this is a pattern you can buy. Now, I don't have the leg fabric, so don't, <laughs> I don't even know where it came from. That's been around forever, but um, I would strongly recommend making one of these. It's super fun and a lot, of e a lot of easy work to do, so don't be afraid of it. You know what time it is now? What? Fabric! Oh, we have so much fabric. Oh, we have so much fabric. I, got, I can't wait to show you. Let's go look at fabric. Hello. Hey, how are you today? You got your friend. I do. This is Faith, Faith Francis Flamingo. I love it. <laughs> I love flamingos. Do you? Well, we, I made this one. You can make her too. So. Oh, you did make her? Yeah, that's a pattern we got here. Isn't she sweet? Isn't she cute? Yes, she is. I know. She's become my support animal. That's good. <laughs> Everybody needs one, right? Good. Okay. All right. Let's go down here and look at this. Okay, this is fun. Um, you know, I told you we're getting our seasonal fabric in. This is a line from Tim Holtz. I love Tim Holtz. Some of these are canvas. That one is canvas. Look how fun that is. I think I need a bag. This is fall themed, which is a little different than, than typically what you see. Oh, the, now that's not cute. I love the whimsy. I do too. I love the whimsical part of it. This one's canvas too. I love this. Those, look at all those little creatures. Well, look at this. I, There's a horse. That? Who is that? That's Ed Grand Poe. There you go. I knew it was somebody special. I'm looking at him upside down. You can't recognize him upside down. That's probably somebody else too. Don't know. Don't know. Somebody will be able to tell. Is that the lady? The lady who wrote Frankenstein? Maybe. Anne Rice. Oh, that Anne would Rice? make sense. That would make sense. Yeah. I don't know what this. What's that? Oh, that must be. Oh, I know what they're carrying. They're carrying cargo. Oh, that's it. Well, they're that's carrying a, the deceased. The deceased. Yeah, that's yeah. a hearse. Hearse, 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 hearse. Oh well, this one's canvas also. This one is crows. Ooh, look at that. So, okay, so we have a lot of crossover with our cross stitch people. This canvas weight would be great for finishing. I'm just. Oh, you're right. And how many how many cross stitches they put those crows. blackbirds in there? Yeah, blackbirds and crows or ravens. So what's a flock of crows called? Oh, now you know the answer, but I don't remember. A murder. A murder. Oh, that's just creepy. <laughs> and and a, 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 a flock of flamingos? I can't remember because you told me this morning. <laughs> a flamboyance. Oh, man. Look at this one's canvas also. So I'm putting out the canvas ones first. Love it. So I'm just thinking Rich. like a nice trick-or-treat bag. Oh, or, a trick-or-treat bag. Wouldn't that be nice made out of oh, canvas? You could use I it every go year. I trick or treat with that. I know. Me too. Um, well, my candy bag And then up. these are these are cottons. These are just standard cottons. But look how they play together. That's that's uh, poison. Poison. Arsenic. This is words. I wonder what's on there. <laughs> the, the Does it arsenic. say arsenic? Yeah, arsenic. Yeah, I'm not thinking some people might not get it, but I think this is cool. I love this. Formaldehyde. I've got a chloroform. Um, Those are all the names of the chemicals. We on had there. a. a a line not too long ago that was like a steampunk line. Uh -huh. This would be great for the back. I may buy that to put the back on that pattern, on that fabric because it's similar colors. It'd be cool for it would the back. Be a, it would be a deadly quilt. It would. Well, I have a cousin I'm going to send it to. So anyway, so this is Tim Holtz, um, which I'm loving, 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 loving this. Um, this has to go with our seasonal fabric because, you know, we are getting in. <sighs> <laughs> what are we getting at? As hard as it is to think about Christmas and fall and all that. I the... think Maggie wrote her first Christmas joke. She did. Oh, sorry. I knocked the camera. We'll see it here in a minute because we're going to go look at that fabric. But we didn't get any Halloween jokes. Well, you know I haven't seen any yet. I need a but Halloween joke. We're going to have to get her to give us a Halloween joke. I need She's that. kind of preoccupied. You know, it's, it is Maggie's senior year. Okay. And she had prom last weekend. And she's got, she's just got other things on her mind right now besides writing fun jokes. But I'm taking Faith with me. And we're going to go over and we're going to look at, we looked at Free Spirit, or we looked at Frightful. That's, that, oh, for those of you on the website, this is Free Spirit Company. It's called Frightful. Frightful? Free Spirit Frightful. Okay. So if you're looking for it on the website, that's what you're going to look for. And then... So now we've been afraid. Let's go be friendly. Let's go be friendly. Yeah, over here. We're going to be friendly. Friendly, friendly, friendly. I love this line. Okay, thank you. There we go. Stay right there for a minute. Okay, this, okay. Would you say that that's a flamingo on a shelf? <laughs> a flamingo on a shelf. Her legs are bent in the wrong way, but we can make it work. Okay, so this is what did the gingerbread man put on his bed? Um, what? Cookie sheets. 
<laughs> wah, wah, wah. And she said, gross, a Christmas joke already appalling. So yeah, we're, Maggie's giving her Christmas jokes to us. But fun, fun, fun. This one is from the Moda Company. And it is called Reindeer Games. And I am in love with this line. We showed you um, another one. I'm going to talk about it again in a minute. But this is called Reindeer Games. And just what a great mix of just little prints. A fat quarter bundle of this would be phenomenal to make a Christmas quilt. Just, oh, perfect. Those of you who like the kind of more um, vintage patterns, I would call, maybe not reproduction so much but vintage look at this reindeer how, how can you not be happy when you look at that I mean really look how happy what a perfect 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 stocking fabric I mean really adorbs now it's here and then turn around it's here it's so much look how fun there's that happy little rainbow again you're gonna see him in another colorway um, when you see the Primitive Gatherings fabric, you're going to hear me talk about colorways. A lot of times they'll do the same print in a different colorway, so it's like, oh, I really like that print, but I'd rather it had a white background instead of a green background, or whatever it is you want. Um, you'll find it in different colorways. The stripes in that are great. Oh, I see bindings. I see ribbon candy. I, that's just, look at this white on white. I hadn't noticed the white on white in there. Yeah, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Ooh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's got reindeers in it. Can you get it, Peter? Mm -hmm. Does it pick it up? Mm -mm. There we go. Okay. Snowflakes with reindeers. And if you really wanted, you could take a red pen and put little dots on every nose. <laughs> 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 a I'm red sharpie. They didn't put red on there. A red sharpie. A red sharpie. Yeah. And we do have that. We have the charms. We have the layers. So quick quilt if you want to just do it already done. That's from me and my sister. So my favorite, favorite, Barb and Mary, love those gals. Me and my sister designs, it's called Moda Reindeer Games. So if you want a fat quarter bundle, contact our orders department, they can hook you up. And then we showed you last week this Layla Batik line. Oops, Peter's running into things. <laughs> Um, we showed you this Layla Batik line, Layla Boutique from Moda. Um, it's not Batik fabric, it's Boutique, so it's it's Boutique, Boutique. And there's a pattern called Tis, or a panel, Tis the Season to be Jolly. And our staff are such wizards. Let's see if I can hold this up on my own. They took this particular panel and they quilted it and then they did couching on it. So if you don't know what couching is, stop into our um, sewing machine department and they can tell you. But when you look at the leaves or the letters, they took yarn and sewed around the leaves and the letters with yarn. You get it out here. There you go. And it is, it is, <laughs> it is adorable. This isn't even on display yet, so hopefully by the time the video comes up, See, look how they just did that. They just took yarn and they sewed around the yarn or through the yarn with the sewing machine and, and embellished this quilt. And they did an all-over quilting pattern of Christmas trees, which is lovely. But then to go back and hit those snowflakes and some of those particular ones with just a little bit of embellishment, it just makes this thing pop. I mean, who wouldn't love this? And it's a perfect size to snuggle up for Christmas. If you get underneath it, you know, take a little nap. Um, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. They did a great job. And uh, if you want to know how to do couching, they actually did it on a handy quilt machine. You can do it on any domestic machine as well. There's a method. Um, that's one of those things they could show you in our machines department because our gals are so smart. So you'd want to talk to them about that. All right. I'm going to leave that here for a hot minute. And... Your that, flamingo's drunk. I know she. <laughs> she's a little tipsy. I, I'm gonna have. I don't know. We have to have another name for. Her. Oh well. Well, we can't all stand up straight. Good grace! Have you seen how skinny their legs are? <laughs> Come on, give her a break. No flamingo shaming. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go look at widebacks. I know a while back I told you I wasn't allowed to buy any more widebacks, but I have. So Peter, you head that direction. I'll meet you there. Come on,
I'm going to the man store. Okay. Wide backs. Look at all we have. Gosh. Probably 50 bolts of wide back fabric. I just, t I'm telling you, if there's a wide back to be found, we've got it. Um, the newest ones were these little four or five right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are from the Northcott Company, and they're the Stonehenge fabrics. Um, surfaces is what they're called. And these are so beautiful because they have so many colors in them. Um, if you do very many quilts and you like to use wide backs, three yards of this stash would be a great thing to have for... Sometime you're ready to do a quilt, you need a back, boom, you've got it. Um, you know that when you have your birthday month, you can get 20% off your purchase. So um, everything you buy that day during the month of your birthday can be a 20% off. I might stack, stock up my wide backs on that day. You know, get a stash of wide backs going. But goodness sakes, this is just every color of wide back you can imagine. Just your plain beiges and creams, colors, styles. Um, we do have our fifth Saturday backing sale, which I don't know when our next fifth Saturday is. Let's see, we just I have one in April, calendar, May, June, July, probably July-ish or so should be another one. Um, but that's a good time to buy your wide backs. Um, that's a good basic gray color right there, just plain old gray. So wide backs are available here. When Sometimes I've been in stores where they just don't have enough wide backs. I can't find what I need because I want a wide back. I love them because I don't have to put a seam in them. They're one big piece. Granted, I kind of have a funky piece left on the end, but that's okay. What's, there's nothing wrong with having extra fabric. I always like extra fabric, um, but they're great. So um, we do tear our wide backs rather than cut them so that you have straight of grain. And... Uh, if you've not seen that done, don't be alarmed, it's okay. We're not damaging the fabric, we're just making it more secure so that when you take it to your long arm quilter or you put it on your sewing machine to quilt, it's not um, all whopper jaw. Or cattywampus. Or cattywampus, yeah, those fancy words, cattywampus whopper jaw. Um, okay, so that goes through pretty much everything here. Now we're going back to yarn town, as Peter says. We're gonna look at some fun stuff back there. So I'll meet you in the back. Okay, I'm at the back of the shop now. If you come in our front door and you just wander around the front and don't get all the way to the back, you've missed more than half of the shop. Uh, we have people come in because the front doesn't look very big. We're like five times bigger towards the back than we are in the front. So don't hesitate to walk all the way to the back because the clearance room, like the milk at Walmart's in the back, our clearance room's in the back <laughs> in the corner for that very reason, just because it's, it makes you walk all the way through. Um, so I'm back in our yarn wool, crochet, knitting, um, embroidery, that into the shop. And we've received two new crochet books. Crochet's really making a comeback, and um, like all the crafts are. This is one we just got in from Crochet World. Quick one skein crochet, 50 plus beautiful stash busting projects. And I've seen some things in here I really, really, really love. Um, the back is just an ad. So, lots of fun stuff. Let's see if I can see. I don't want to. I have to be careful because we don't want to reveal patterns. But where's the pictures? I know. Where's oh, the pictures? There I we like go. There's that. a picture. There's some dishcloths because you know dishcloths. There's little teddy bears. Look at the doily. Ooh, that's what caught Peter's that's eye. Pretty. I know it. There's a skirt. That, sweaters are not what they used to be. It used to be crocheted stuff looked one way. It's they've really improved a lot um, of the patterns. Isn't that lovely. That's awesome. Beautiful stitching, beautiful stitching. So there's patterns in here, lots of fun things. So that's quick, quick one stop, one skein crochet. And then this, Christmas is coming. I just keep talking about it and it's kind of flipping me out a little bit, but there's some really cute little ornaments in here. I love this little elf on a shelf. If you do that elf on a shelf thing, how much more fun to have one that you know you crocheted for somebody. Um, and look at all the projects on here. Oh, you can crochet your own village. Yeah, do your own little village. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Yeah, you got a fun little placemat, cute little snowman, and there's a great stocking. stocking. Stockings get to be big at Christmas time. Everybody wants a crocheted stocking. If you make stockings for your family, make four or five extra because later generations are like, but I want the one that Grandma made, and she made them for everybody, but not for this one and this one and this one. 
I think four or five extra, truly, because they will use them later. We have that all the time. People come back and say, I want to match this set. They're it's always like, trying to match the yarn for stockings yeah. that were 10 years ago. And it's tough, so, so don't hesitate to do that. So this is a great little crochet. And these typically use yarn. Um, we do have a small selection of crochet thread. If you're specifically wanting crochet thread, there's a little basket. I'll, Peter will plug in a picture of that crochet thread. And then we have a crochet class. If you watched last week and I was like, shh, be quiet, and that class got absolutely silent, this week there's only a couple people in there, so we'll get a picture of those gals crocheting. They said they didn't want to be on camera, but, you know, we don't care. We like to take pictures of people. i got to show you something else over here. <laughs> These are really fun. These are needle minders. And typically, now this is in our cross stitch area, okay? So typically what you're doing is you're attaching this to your cross stitch project so that when you stop stitching, you can put your needle on that little minder, not through your fabric and create a hole or God forbid you for don't come back to lose it for a while. It falls out. Lose it falls out. Or if you wait too long, it gets rusty. I mean, you know, let's just be honest. Um, so these are needle minders. And um, I don't have time to show you all of them. But again, Peter can get a little close up. One of them there is actually our shop. This one right here mm -hmm. is our shop design needle minder. Minder. It has our logo on it. It shows cross stitch yarn and quilting. Um, so that's fun. So many choices on needle minders. If you don't have a needle minder, get you one for yourself. It's fun. Or if you are friends with a stitcher and you don't know what to get them, get them a needle minder because they're just the funnest little tool to have to keep track of your um, your needle. Look at the bee one. Oh my gosh. That's fun. Isn't that fun? If you watched Lenine's um, floss tube, she's trying to get a bee collection thing going for her home decor. Oh, so. does she know we have this? I don't know. We might have to tell it. Looks refrigerator like, magnet. Does it have wiggle eyes on it? <laughs> wiggle eyes. It does. Oh it, my it, gosh, that reminds but I'd me. But I want little wiggle eyes. That reminds me of the, yeah, the little wiggle eyes. That'd be perfect. That's like fun. the movie, what is yeah. it, everything, always is nothing at once or whatever it is. There's some movie. Wiggle eyes. Yeah, okay. So those are needle minders. Those are, some of those are new and some of them we've had for a while, but I just wanted to talk to you about needle minders if you've never used one. They're great. I mean, even for quilting or cross stitch, English paper piecing, I love to have fun. Um, I've even got some just around my sewing room, <laughs> you know, like just stuck around because they're fun decorations. Okay, we are in the back room right now, which is where a lot of the heart and the activity that goes on in our building happens. Peter's behind the camera today. Say hey, Peter. Hi, everybody. His desk is back here. Kind Thanks of, for watching. I got a new rug, y'all. Yeah, he got a rug. So he's I love it. Special. Um, but actually, we've probably got as many as five or six people working in the back of the shop, even when we have people out front. So there's a whole lot of staff support going on that you don't always see. But that's why I'm at right now is the back room, because we're going to do an unboxing. And um, Peter had the wise eye to go, oh, look, there's some new fabric. It hasn't even been out of the box yet. Our inventory specialist, Nancy, is on vacation this week. <laughs> <laughs> you notice these unboxings always happen when she's either on her day off or on her vacation. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like us getting in the boxes. Now, Lenine will be entering the inventory, which is always an adventure, and she doesn't care if we open the boxes. So we're going to open the boxes. I am going to move them to a cart. And so just so you understand, the, the boxes come in. They're just like big old shipping boxes from uh, the companies, the different fabric companies. And we have to unload those boxes. We have to enter that information into our point of sale program. And we have to put barcodes on them. And they have to have the plastic taken off. They have to be folded nice. They have to then go out to the sales floor where those girls figure out where to display them. And if you've been in our store, you know it's a constant movement of what goes where, how do we set this up, where do we put that. So um, it's quite a process. And we get fabric in literally every day. So you can pretty much count that's going to be happening. So let's open some boxes. It is like Christmas, though. I will tell you, we have a lot of fun. It is. We ooh and ah, and the whole staff stop whatever they're doing and come over. So here we have, from the Moda Company, the newest line from Primitive Gatherings. And it's called Rustic Gatherings is the name of it. Oh, that's pretty. Now, it may reflect a little bit because there's still plastic on it. And I'm going to leave plastic on it because that's kind of the process that they go through um, when they're putting it install when they're setting it up they they want to leave all that together gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous 
I happen to have the charms here. I'm going to bust this open against my better judgment, but I'm going to bust it open so I can so show you kind of quickly what's in this set. She, you know, Lisa Bonjean is the designer for, for Primitive Gatherings, and she does such a beautiful job of picking those primitive colors and yet giving them kind of a modern twist. Rusts and grays mm. and creams. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. That's stunning. Can't wait to see that on the bolt. Me too. There's the one we just saw in a little lighter shade. So you'll see the same pattern. See, there it is in a rust and there it is in a gray. You'll see the same pattern in different colorways. Oh, that's a great that's dot. That's a wonderful dot. Oh, look at the little oh, leaves. Oh, that's neat. This is gorgeous. There's, see, we saw that a minute ago in another color. There it is in another colorway. So they'll do the same pattern. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Same pattern, but they'll do it in different colors. Oh, look at this one's pillow ticking. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> Love pillow ticking. This is so fun. So that's just a quick scan. Let's pull the bolts out. Let's look Let's at the bolts. It. Let's, Let's look it. at the bolts. So we've got layer, we got the charms, and we have the mini charms. So those are the little bitty, bitty, bitty charms. Um, so we have those two. So there's a gray. Here's a dot. Look at that dot. That's Man, great. that's perfect. What a great background. Great background color. Those those dots always read well. So when you, when I put these on the cart, you're noticing... Oh, that's so rich. I'm going to put the similar patterns Yum. together. And that has to do with when you're putting in an inventory. Oh, oh that. that's great, too. The numbers will be very similar. i got to put them right side up. The numbers for that, so the Moda number, the item will be the same. The color number will just be different. So... It's just part of that inventory thing that we do in the back, trying to get it a little easier to put in. Look at that. Same pattern, black background, look gray at background. How, what a difference, yeah. huh? Yeah, isn't that funny? It's amazing. Oh, look at this rust. I love that. I do too. That's such a great fall color. I see some really pretty fall quilts coming out of this line. And we, we have so many Primitive Gathering fans out there. Um, if somebody wants it, a, for us to custom cut them a fat quarter bundle, what should they do? Call orders department, email orders department. You can put, put that on the over screen. Oh, look at the stripe. Mm. Um, they'll cut you a fat quarter bundle. The nice thing about a complete fat quarter bundle kit is when you do it, you get every single piece of fabric in the line. Look at that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, that's one box. And so let's go to box two, shall we? I love it. Christmas. Look at this. Look how much fabric is here. This is a big line. It's a three-pager. This is a big line. So there's a lot of fabrics. Oh, this is the little floral. Look at that. Oh, that would look stunning. Isn't that great? That'd be a great background, too, honestly. It'd be a great shirt. Oh, it would. What a perfect shirt. Good. He was or a little like one of those jump. No, what are they? Little dresses. Jump, yeah, they're kind of like, like jumper things going on. I don't. Here's another in that floral. Look at that difference. That's got kind of the almost the mirror image. It's yeah. got the rust with the cream flowers instead of the cream with the rust flowers. Now I have two bolts of this. Oh no, it's different. Look. Darker. Just a tonal difference. Look at that. Just the lightest. Ooh, won't that make fun? Dimension in a quilt. Because it won't be like an extreme. That floral really has movement on the vertical. Yeah, it does. On the it? running the length of the fabric. Oh, here's this one. This was the one we floor. liked. Oh, that's stunning. Now that's a good shirt for a cowboy. Okay, that's an English paper that's piece. That's a Western shirt, Cappy. That is a Western shirt. That with is English little, paper piecing. English paper piecing. And with the little, you need the little pearl buttons. The pearl, pearl snaps. Light, the pearl snap buttons. I have pearl snaps. Jessica gave me a patch. You or need to make a gave, shirt. Yeah, she gave me a little packet. Of okay, them. I'm going to put these. I'm gonna, that's a different pattern, so we're going to go down to the bottom with that. Let's see what we got here. There it is. There's another one. Now, that's just a tone off. Look. Is it a tone off? Look. Oh, it is. Just the littlest bit darker. Wow. But isn't that going to give great dimension in a yeah. quilt? Oh. We must have bought everybody in the line on this. We just went fall. We went well, all in. Well, we usually do because it sells out so fast. Okay, so these are all that same pattern. Let's lay these beside each other so they can get a sense of... I think the last... Okay, the last collection, full collection that we bought, I think we sold 40 fat quarter bundles. Oh, gosh. Well... We had them cut ahead of time. The orders department will be thrilled. Yeah, 40. It was Job red, security. Okay, this is... It was like red, white, and blue. 
You may have to get oh, around me. Oh, I thought I'm putting them down below. Well, I am, but I was wanting you to see you got these four different all colors? the same colors. Oh, you I see. You may have to come to I this see. side. Okay, I'm flipping see? and rotating. See, they're all the same oh. pattern, but they're in a different colorway. And that, that, I tell you, you could take that pattern, make a whole quilt out of just that pattern with all the different colorways. How interesting would that be? You'd like have a, like color variation. Quilt? Yeah, you'd have color variation, but you wouldn't have a change with the Look size. Look at that. Look at how stunning that is. I love it. Lisa Bonjean is a genius. Okay, I'm going to put these down here so they're ready. And i got to get them right side up because that's the rule when you scan. So when she enters it into inventory, there's barcodes on there. And you scan those barcodes and it makes it go a little quicker. Yeah, this is home of the... This is the home of the make the other person's job easier. Yeah, exactly. If I'm going to put these all on a cart for, I'm going to make it so it's not extra work. Especially when, you know, we're down a staff person. And those of you who've been following us might know we've had some internet issues, but we're good now. Yeah, we're just in time now. to upload another video for y'all. Yeah, just in time. Oh, this is the little leaves. I really like this. Okay, we're going to stack these up here so you don't have to work around. Look at that tone on tone. That's really pretty. Look how pretty these are. I love that. Is there any more leaves? Not in this box. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. What a nice tone. All right, let's stick those over here. Are you still English paper piecing with those? Um, probably. You know, there's never, I've never met anybody I didn't like the English paper piece with. I'm pretty easy going. Okay, more dots. Or no, that's oh, not a dot. I that's a little that. bitty leaf. Little ditzy something. It's a little leaf. It's a seed. It's a. Hmm. It's a teeny tiny flower almost. It's like a. Um, that's what all these. This whole box is. Oh, there's some dots. There's a gray. Oh, there's with, the dots. There's a black. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys want a long video? You're gonna get it today because it's gonna take us to unbox all these. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice long video. Okay, put those down there. Wowzer. Isn't those pretty? I love that. I love, this is what a great background. Great background. Let me get my work out. Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I caught this one, the other you one dropped. It. They're so slippery. Thank you, sir. So slippery. All right, whoops, there we go. All right, last box. Whew. I'm gonna guess there's 40 volts in this feels like it. Typically we buy a 20 yard or 20 bolt pattern. Oh, okay. I am a sucker for pillow ticking. That looks nice. Isn't that pretty? I am a sucker for pillow ticking and there was some down here. So let's keep it together. So I don't get in trouble. Uh, there we go. All right, let's put the pillow ticking together. Isn't that fun? Ooh. Great, great pattern. Okay, now this is one we've not seen. It's kind of a little hmm. toss of triangles yeah. in the middle of the flowers. I like that too. I like that a lot. Oh, and look at that. Now that's not black. It's not brown. Oh, look at that. What would you call that? Blown? Black, black, brown, 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 black. <laughs> brown, black. Like a real warm black. Yeah, it is. It's a different shade. It's more okay. like a warm black. Here's yeah. some more of our flowers. Nice rustic On a black, black background. Love that. Some more flowers. On that same, that's kind of a, it's not gray, it's not black, it's not brown, it's not even green. It's just charcoal. Let's call it charcoal. 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 That's all flowers. Oh, wait, they're upside down. I'll get in trouble. Come over. Brown. Last two. And there's some more of these little triangle ones. Mm, 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 mm. Isn't this going to be great for, for a fall quilt? What fall quilt can you not make with yeah, this exactly. line? I mean, every imaginable option she gives you. Yeah, it's perfect. Just, she's a perfect designer. I can't, can't tell you enough about what I think about how she designs fabric. All right. How is she so good at her job? Well, <laughs> you know, 
Uh, she's a, here's how it. she is. She's a quilter. I think sometimes we'll have people, and not to disparage anyone, but when you have a quilter design fabric to be quilted, they get it. They understand the small, medium, large, the light, medium, dark. Um, sometimes we'll have people cross over from other industries that are great graphic artist designers but they don't quilt and so they don't understand what a quilter needs to make a quilt work. Lisa's a quilter. That makes her know this is what you need um, to make a make a pretty quilt. So that's it. Unboxing. It's going to be on the floor. Probably by the time you see the video this will be on the floor. Um, providing our internet holds up. <laughs> Comcast has been doing some updates in our area and so it really really tangles up our system but we make it work anyway so thanks a bunch so I think that covers everything we had in what's new this week um, gosh next week when you see this video it will be June Peter where's half the, time the year's gone? gone half the year's gone better start your Christmas shopping and your Christmas crafting because you know People come in in December and say, oh, I'm ready to make a quilt. I don't even want to wait till November. <laughs> I don't want to wait till October. No, I want to get my fabric now and get it going. If I got, if I have it done now, then I can enjoy the holiday and not yeah. have to stress about it. There was one year, many moons ago, that I had all my Christmas shopping done by the 1st of November. And I enjoyed that holiday more than any year I ever have. And I need to get that mindset and do it again and just get everything done because... No, it ain't going to get any cheaper to purchase it, and time isn't going to get any more <laughs> available after the holidays than it is before. So um, let us help you. Let us, if you've got an idea, you got somebody you want to shop to. And then here's the other part. Put it someplace you can find it <laughs> after you buy it. Oh, <laughs> brother. <laughs> I, I have shopped and went <laughs> Christmas Eve. Where did I put that bloody, bloody blah that I bought to stick in the stocking? Oh, so find a good hiding place to stash everything so when Christmas comes, you can actually give it to them. Um, so that's our tips for mid June. I can't believe we're going to talk about that already. But anyway, I hope you're having a happy, stitchy day wherever you are. And we really appreciate you watching our videos. Please comment and, and tell us what you're working on. Go to our insiders page, post what you're working on. We love to see your pictures. And. Uh, we're just happy to be part of your life. So from Peter and I, we say goodbye and happy stitching. Bye.